Well, hello everyone. Well, tonight I am going to go ahead and put uh, sway bar bushings on my Dodge Caravan. Uh, these are little uh, things that uh, go underneath that uh, keep the suspension from rattling, and I ordered these online for, uh, I think it was like $18. It wasn't very much at all. And you get, you get some instructions with it. And this is my Dodge Caravan. It's a 96, and I think these are all the same all the way up to probably 2004 or five. So uh, I've got the car already jacked up. I got it on ramps, and I got the emergency brake on. And I'll go under here, and I will show you um, where they are, where the sway bar bushings are on this particular um, car. They, once you're up under here, you will see there's a bracket right there, and that sway bar runs over off to the uh, sway bar link there, and uh, goes up to the top of the strut. And a lot of times, when you get a bump, it'll rattle, and it sounds like somebody's underneath that with a hammer. And that's what's exactly is going on with this uh, particular car. And there's the other one that's on that side, so it should be pretty easy to get to. Uh, looks like a uh, 15 uh, nut, and I'm not sure what's on the other side. Looks like maybe a 13. Um, I'm gonna have to slide on up under here to see what we got on the back side and it looks like a yeah yeah looks like a little 13 uh, nut there let's see yeah, that's that's actually gonna be a uh, thir uh, 14 I think what that is so I'm going to start taking these uh, loose these bolts loose and I'll show you the noise that it's making really quick um, let me get my camera situated here uh, I can take one hand Kind of shake this and set my light up there real quick. And let me spin myself back around. Now there's the uh, sway bar. Let me get this light. You can actually see it. That's uh, part of uh, doing these videos. Kind of hard to do everything. Whole light. Now if you uh, look closely, if I take the, uh, well you're still not going to be able to see it this way. I gotta get this light at a certain angle. There we go. I think you can see that there. Now, if I take my hand and move this sway bar link up and down like it's gonna go over a bump, you can see that moving. See that? And you can hear it. Get my hand here again. That's my problem. And you can see, if you look close, it is wore out. And you can see that moving up and down in there so this is what I'm going to replace tonight so that shouldn't be too bad so let me go ahead and take these bolts out uh, when you take these bolts out this clip on the back side here comes right off it sits up it's recessed it's set up here in a groove so once this bolt comes off you just pull this back and you pop that off and you pop the new one on and you just simply bolt that back on so let me go ahead and take this off all right, I got the uh, passenger side bolt out. Pretty easy to do. Uh, both sides are actually uh, 15 um, uh, sockets and a wrench. I put a, a wrench on one side, and I'm actually cheating tonight. I'm using my little power tool there, but you can use a wrench and a socket. It was really easy to take off. This makes it a little bit faster. Now I'm going to shine that light there and uh, take this off real quick. Let's see if I can see it there. Okay, there's that. You ever see what I'm saying? The tab right there. That just kind of rides up over that. And there's the bracket. And all I gotta do now is pop that uh, bushing up there. Well, there's nothing left of it. It's pretty much shot. Let me go, I'm gonna have to set the camera down. I'm gonna pop that off there. Give you a look at it real quick. And we'll put the new one on. All right, I got it off. There's the old one. And there's the new one. Boy, what a difference, huh? That thing is completely wore out. Reamed out pretty good, so no wonder I was getting all that noise. Now all I gotta do is uh, stick that one in there. Just remember how they go in. Uh, this one here, uh, the factory one has a little uh, place here, kind of uh, sticks out farther. Like you can see, you can see it on that. It's kind of a you know, groove there, how it sticks out. That goes back in toward the back of the frame. I'll, I'll give you a look at it here after I stick it in. So let me uh, stick this in now. All right, I got that one in, and kind of note how that goes in. That uh, cut goes down. So you can put the uh, piece back over it, like this. Isn't it like that? It takes a, a little while to, uh, it takes a little bit of muscle to fish that over this. I just take a big screwdriver and spread it apart for a few minutes, then slide that over that. Then it'll, uh, it'll go in there pretty good. So let me put this bracket on now, and uh, this side will be done. 
And now that one's in. And that took about uh, not even two minutes once I put the bolt nut on it there. Went right in. So that's in and you can't shake it now. I can't even uh, put my hand on it there and uh, see if I can. It's, it's tight now. <sighs> no more noise. So let me go ahead and do the other side. All right, I got the uh, driver's side out. Now, on this side, you've got this ABS uh, thing back here, this uh, thing that controls your ABS braking system. It's in the way of this bolt. I just took a wrench, and there's some places behind there you can get your hand, and just put your 15 wrench on the back side, and just kind of use a you know 15 inch wrench to hold that uh, bolt while you uh, break that nut loose on this side and, and as you can see I've got the uh, bolt just kind of hanging there as you can see it there so I can just uh, slide the uh, bracket back over and put the nut, in, nut back in it now this side took just a little longer because I had to do it by hand but hey what are you going to do so now I've got to go ahead and put the new one in and uh, then we'll uh, put this side back in and we'll be pretty much done. Now the bushing on this side, um, <laughs> it looked like somebody replaced just that side, but it's wore out. I don't know why they would re replace just one side. But people, I've, I've had vehicles where people put hot glue and sticks in suspension before, just to keep it from rattling. That's how cheap they get sometimes. But uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll go ahead and stick the new one in. So there's the old one, and uh, we'll be done here in a few seconds, looks like. Uh, a few minutes after I get the other one in. So let me go ahead and put that in, and I'll give you a look at it. All right, I got that one in, finally. Uh, I shot some oil around the uh, sway bar there, so it would make it easier to slide on. Uh, you have to pry those open for a little while, because that rubber's really tough. Now, uh, that bolt there, you see it's missing what well, fell out, and there's not a lot of room back there because of that. ABS stuff. So what I'm going to do is take a magnet and uh, put a bolt, put the bolt, put that bolt on the end of this magnet, and slide it up through, fish it up through there, and push it in that hole. And that way I can get it back through there. So uh, that's one trick you can do. So let me go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll finish this up. All right, my friends, that is a wrap. That one is on. Check it out. Looks pretty good. Uh, looks like I should have no more. Uh, hopefully noise. And uh, like I said, I put a little bit of grease on that nut and bolt, and when you put that back on, it went on. Uh, it goes on real easy. That, I almost um, spun it by hand all the way down. And uh, like I said, I put a, a wrench on the back side. I had to fish my hand back through the uh, back side of the uh, car back here. Kind of hard to see there, but uh, that was a 15. Both, actually, that nut and bolt is 15. And don't forget when you get this tightened down up on the front there, once you get that nut tight, with that, I'm using a deep well socket, it's a uh, 15. Don't forget to take your uh, wrench back off the back side. Sometimes you don't see your wrenches, you can lose them. And it looks like we are good, good to go, and uh, hopefully this will take all my noise out, and I'll drive it in the next few days and see how it is. So that'll be the end of the video, everybody. And... Uh, have any questions, I'll try to answer them, but uh, be careful working on your cars, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck, guys.